Hello and welcome to the Building an Indie Business Podcast with Supreme Ramham. I'm your host, Alex, and I'm just checking in on you. Uh, that was my Bill Burr impression. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Um, today, I wanted to compare podcasting and making YouTube videos. I'm going to talk about the what I have found out is the good and the bad of both um so let's get started but first i wanted to discuss the patreon page um the patreon page is to support the hosting and the editing of the podcast and um what you get when you um support the patreon page is you get early access to the episodes so i post um, I record every episode on Friday, and uh, the episode comes out on Monday. So if you support the Patreon page, you get um, early access to the episodes, um, as as well as you get a shout out on the podcast. Um, you get um, that's one tier. The other tier is you get um, early access, a shout out, your name in the show notes, and the next tier is early access, a shout out, um, name in the show notes, and free access to anything I create and charge people for. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, What I found to be the good thing about podcasting is that there's multiple platforms so you're not stuck to the restrictions of one platform like apple or spotify you can always um promote your content on like overcast or breaker you don't have to rely on one platform like you would on YouTube. So your content can have less restrictions. It's not restricted to what that one platform wants. Um, Another benefit of podcasting is people can listen to it in different situations, um, running, driving, cooking. So there's more situations where people would have the ability to listen to your podcast compared to um, watching your YouTube video because you have to sit down and focus on the video. And you could listen passively to a podcast episode. Um, I feel like the um, people who listen to podcasts, um, they're not just going to stumble randomly onto your podcast so um your heart tar- your audience is more targeted you know people who are looking at are trying to listen to cooking things will not find my podcast and i think that's good because my audience is more targeted all right so the bad things about podcasting um there's no visual aspect um, that makes it harder to keep someone's attention because instead of having two of their senses, you only have one. So with YouTube videos, you'd have their ears and their eyes. But with podcasting, you only have their ears. And they could be focusing on something they're doing and watching while listening to your podcast and then they're tuning out your podcast. Mm. Another thing that's um, bad about podcasting is it's difficult to set up. You can't just uh, upload an episode and there's your podcast. You have to upload it several times and then you have to wait three days, three or four days, and you might even get rejected and then you have to re-upload it. So that's a bummer about podcasting. But I mean, once that's 
once you do that, you're you're up and rolling. So, um, another thing is that in, it's not a very developed industry. Like what I really would love is to be able to upload my episode somewhere and have it edited, have it be edited and come out, you know, not as rough, I guess, but because podcasting is so, it's not new, but it's not popular, um, there's no service for that. Okay. Um, also, and finally, the last thing that's bad about podcasting is shareability. So, there are many different platforms for listening to podcasts, and people use, there's like 10 of them, and you never know which ones your followers listen to, or your listeners listen to, or which one they listen on, and so it's very hard to, like, um, give people, like, put a previous episode in the show notes because I don't know if someone uses Apple or Google, so I would have to put in both. That's partially why I upload everything to YouTube so that I know anyone clicks on the YouTube link, they'll be able to click it. I mean, I don't even use Apple or Google. I use Overcast. So, yeah, that's another problem. There's not like a universal sharing platform that podcasters can just link to. Okay, so now on to YouTube. The, the good about YouTube, the first thing, is the organic traffic. So my channel probably gets about like 100 views every day um, be, just because I have good, I have a lot of tags and I have a good um, title for every video. So the traffic I get is from the free code camp lessons that I was sharing and yeah I get I don't do any promotion for it I get organic traffic um, the setup is simple all I have to do is um, I mean everyone already has a YouTube channel so all I have to do is upload a video and then you know set it up do the uh, the description the title the tags and I'm up and going I could do it in couple minutes um that's not the same with podcasting monetization so while the road to being able to monetize on um youtube is very difficult it's like two four thousand hours of viewed content so people have to view your content for four thousand hours in a year um, you know, that's a straightforward monetization plan. Uh, there's nothing like that for podcasting. Okay, so that's it for the good about YouTube. Now on to the bad about YouTube. So I think YouTube is too big. So if you type in free code camp, you'll get 1 million results. And you'll get other things unrelated to free code camp. So it's kind of hard to like stand out. And also being too big means that your uh, you're subject to any restrictions about um, that YouTube wants to implement. So when YouTube, decided that 10,000 views was too little um that was i like i i was getting ready 
to monetize monetize my YouTube videos. I was at like 9,000 and you know, I didn't have any other options for monetization. So I was restricted by their huge monopoly on the video uh, sharing and watching industry. Um, YouTube is really the only option if you want to create videos and you don't have an existing audience. They have no competitors, which is, I mean, it's the same thing as, it's very similar to my first point them being too big and um, the final bad thing about YouTube is that um, there's a lot of competition so you even if your videos are really good you have to like know how to make a great title and description and you know um, tags you're not just going to be randomly discovered by someone. And yeah, I, yeah, that's it. That's podcasting and YouTube. So I hope you got value out of this episode. If you have any questions, tweet me, email me. Um, thank you for listening. Have a nice day.